believe that there are 31 or 32 recorded healings in the gospel. In other words, through four gospels, there's, uh, th- I think, 31 recorded healings in the gospel. But the best of healings, about 19 of them are different. Now, it's a 19 that we mean by that. What do you mean by that? You might live out of the same healing. Well, they're not the same healings, but that's three different healings of one. Uh, one is the other. Now, there are 30, 31 recorded in the four Gospels, 19 of them being different. In other words, we know we have overlapping or a general approach in different disciples. So, the 19 will give direct credit to the person's faith for being healed. And then, that's down 50%. I mean, especially, you know, the work of the miracles, or it was, a, it was a gift of healing, it was, it was something that's okay. Then, then, in proportion of direct faith, we have to, you know, somebody in the Jesus said, you just said, credit their faith, spell it. And then, so there will be no other of the, of the 19 different healings recorded in the gospel, but some of them, Jesus, helps your faith, your faith is why you got this. So faith is an important part of the role or in the place, in, in, in the um, arena of hope and healing for the believer, isn't it? Isn't it not? That's the point you're going to make we want you to do that. You do very well to your answer. I said, oh, yeah. Thank you, God. Now, this is what we're going to talk about. Now, we're going to get back to the back. We're going to talk about women at least. Uh, but some Kelly is coming. And we're going to have you over verses 5 through 15. It says, And when Jesus was running into the kingdom, the kingdom had us from Kelly and beseeching him. And so he said, You can tell us how long it took to the party, grandishly tormented. And Jesus said, I'm not going to do it. And he said, Jesus said, not to my way, but you can come under my roof. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. For I am not under authority, how many times is only me, and if I say to this man, there he goes, to another time and he cometh, and the next one do not, and he goes it. When Jesus heard him, he marveled. Now, what he's saying is, marvel is when uh, they were in the way. So, that's what he's talking about. And so, the man of the Lord had not said, I have not found so great faith, no man in his way. And the sky is going to the east of the west and sit down and open up and have a contest with the kingdom of heaven. But the sun of the kingdom is going to be cast down to our darkness, where there should be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Jesus said to the centurion, Go to the Lord, that the Lord has believed, that's a reference to faith, the um, the root word for believing and faith are the same Greek root word. So the Lord has been the centurion, and the servant was healed, and the servant was healed. So he's given a plan here of, of, of a centurion, and he's a man of centurion. He's not a Jew. And he makes it there. He doesn't even know that it's covenant, but he's uh, down there in the world, but he's not covenant. And he's a man of the world, and he's a man of the world, and he's a man of the world, and he's a man of the world. Now, he's a great friend of God, but he's been good to us, da 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 He's a good man, that's kind of what, you know, and the Lord of Jesus, he said to Jesus, he said, well, my servant is tormented. Come here, then. Or here. And Jesus said, I'm coming. He said, no, no, no. You don't have to come to my house. I got to do it. Jesus said, speak the word. Speak the word. Now, when they got Christians, and they won't, they don't want to open that. They don't want to come out of that flaming sword, come out of that world, and just walk around the room. Come on, man. They don't want to come out of the station, give us faith and pray as one. Come out of the world. You don't want to come out of the world, and then we won't get wet, and then we won't come out of the world. Come out of Authority. 
Jimmy was. I said, well, I talk about, you know, I was talking to Jimmy and the all the time because of the day. We didn't know what was happening there. We kind of talked that way. I had a little jump. He didn't think it was just me and him. I think it was my favorite role in the last time. Who did you go for this? What? In the past. In the past. You know, there were a lot of people there. And listen, we had a girl there. Where about my hands on that could fail and could fail? Because sometimes you've got things, you know, like one thing you pray for was in, in proxy for someone else by a prayer call. Well, you couldn't tell I didn't think that well and I got into it because they weren't better. But if somebody was praying for that had something wrong, then they came in the bed that night was instantly healed that night. I don't know how many times I've ever had that happen. I mean, you might, you know, you know, you pray for people a lot of times, you know, well, you know, 70% of them get, you know, get better right away or 80%. Uh, but that night, everybody, everybody that could fail instantly received it from God. Now, I think when people find out how old I'm, and that's the only thing I got to read and pray for her, and she got this glory and wrapped around her, and they kind of went down her back out and she got him. She got him under the heart, top of the head, with the soles of the feet. She got that glory all day. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. See, I, I can't go by what I feel. Jesus said, let's hang on the sick and build a cover. And then he said, I'm going to ask me to feel good. I said, well, I can't do anything tonight. I like it when I do. I've been told I'm sure that my hands will be out in the end and then come right back out. And I think you might go to the house so you know they want to see you so you can coach them and, 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 and how, to, how to ask for a seed by faith. Sometimes it can help on the spot, sometimes it takes them. They need to talk. Well, you know, it was all happening. Like we got ministers, they were instant healing. There was one girl there who was pregnant. And she had a lot of knowledge. Well, that, 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 there was somebody dealing with kidneys. There was problems with kidneys, having kidney problems. Everybody just sat there. And she got her hand. She's a tear before that this pregnant girl's face. And finally, she called God. The devil comes up by one. And I tell you, when God begins to deal with people, when God begins to show his mercy and his love to people, oh, hallelujah, it touches the heart in a way nothing else does. And when she's sitting there and, and cutting, she had just gone to the doctor. And the doctor said that your, your baby's kidneys are not developing properly. But the problem that you need to come back this week, we're going to run more tests because there's problems with those kidneys. Well, she got a chance. She came back to the doctor that night. And she came back to the doctor. Jesus praised God. And God loved her so much, he just had, had, the, had a fast flat drive in to the parents of the Lord, the parents of the Lord, how they were in the and they were in the house, and he could minister life to that baby in that room. Don't tell me God, God don't let those babies on the line. They're not people. God made that baby in that room just as much as he does outside the room. Hallelujah. The minister looked at the arms and thanked God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the anointing. Amen. Hallelujah. God is about God. He is about people. And so we don't really have to come to a revelation that God wants us to receive things from his word, from him. And then understand that he's a, understand the fact that it's behind it. And understand that God wants you well. That God wants me well. They switched off with her completely. They just fell in love. No, Jesus is trying to tell me something. Let's talk about it. 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 Matthew has a serious account. The doctor who was the disease of the issue of blood, 12 years, came behind him and infected him and was burned. He was still standing in the middle of the group, just he said, and kept on saying. That man took his brain out of the sky, and he heard it. He was going to stand about it. He said, I'm going to go to the doctor. I am the son of God. I am the anointing on the earth. I hear people just to make sure they know I am God in the flesh. What battle do you win? Is 16 or 17 going to be a six? You can't even win that thing. I don't know what it is now before. You can't even spell out cake in the English. It's hard to read. Yes, so we preach that. Jesus healed to prove he was God. And the other Jesus healed to prove he was God. And so now, I make this apparent here a little bit when I do this, but I'm being, I'm being sarcastic somewhat to get people to realize that thinking got out of the Bible. He 
I say the same thing just happened by faith. That made me whole. I have a I'm not saying I've been whole from that on. You know what I'm talking about? The Spirit kept on saying, Back to the second I'll be whole. Back to the second I'll be whole. Back to the third spirit is that I don't care. You know, if you know that God is there, the other guys are going to be on the other side of the side. He told me to know that because he's going to be on the other side of the side. He's going to be on the other side of the side. And he told me that he touched me and then he was talking to the spirit of God. You know, I'm going to tell you something. If ministries had the best booze you tell when he's in it, they close up. But I think that's beautiful. Are you there? That's not right. I mean, if you were able to get in, you know, you get some people going back. I mean, you have to drink the same as you're going to be away from the bed. You can take a drink in the car and take it. That's right.
But the rest of how strong your faith, you want to, your desire. Just think you can set out here and run. When, when uh, Blake went to one of Dad Hagen's meetings, and he tried to one of the women, uh, one of the one of the singers and bands, to try to teach those guys with him. He cut him down and they had hands in their hands and said, you know, and, and said, that hand and then he got up and had to go out. I think he could get out of the line. Because Brother Hagen wasn't laying hands on him. You trust him in the morning or you trust him in the man? What does it take? Is there any other morning or the man? Hello? But I don't know if he's trying to get out of the He said, boy, he never puts himself beyond physical exhaustion again. I'm just talking to his wife one time. And you know, that's point. He, 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 listen, he, he, people still need to be ministered to. He can't say, oh, listen, Jesse's been on the CSA team past three months on, 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 with, with uh, Pastor Hagen, Dad Hagen's son. And, uh, hey, first Tuesday, they're not in the middle of the first service. They call her up and tell their hands on the sick. Amen. And the first case we got was a cancer case. Amen. See, it's about the person. You can't have your faith in the person. It's got to be in God. And then it's got to be an anointing. So we got to be like, I'm, I'm, I'm shotgun in this. We just like to get shotgun. I'm a part of the Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, Buddy Harrison, Brother Hagin's son, our past husband. Now, Brother Hagin's brother, brother gone home to be with the Lord. But uh, Brother Buddy has faith Christian fellowship there in Tulsa. And uh, I was going to go for a service in the new building. And they took that, they, they took up that, that, uh, that shopping center up on North Tulsa. And they went in and they upgraded that building. See, 5,000 people. And they opened their grave up in the night. It was back for Kenton in 1980. And the air conditioning broke. It was 118 degrees up there in Tulsa. But I thought people were going to be behind the <laughs> Jesus don't like the way he Christian. He does. That's the way he does. And you like everybody, everybody likes it. And how do you make it look better than normal? He's still out there. He said, Hallelujah. Well, anyway, um, so that house is growing. We're still out there in the air in Tulsa. And there's this woman who was really sick at home. And she even looked at Brother Buddy on the radio and she said, Man, if I can just get to that church and have him pray for me, I'll be healed. She turned out this one with the issue of blood. And she said, you know, If I can just get to that church and get in that prayer line, have him lay hands on me, I'll get healed. So after a few weeks of dinner, she found him on one Sunday morning, got her feet up by the bed, got in her car, and got her back to the church. And she's getting up, walking into the building, and then she's just making a step to do it. Because she knows if she can get in there and get in that prayer line, she's going to get healed. Amen. The fact that we're just a fact that we're taking up another way to do something different. The good or the bad, do you believe it needs to be in tune? I said, you believe it needs to be in tune? Just step up and step to the good and say, hey, if you grab the next step and do the good, I'm going to hear them. I'm going to follow it. And you just about what the new day was. It's a good one. Then I'm going to go to the church and get me a prayer and I get here. But I'm going to keep up the good and go to God's good idea. Thank you. 
Do that from all the time. Do that from all the time. Wow. I've seen him say, you know, in a new career, say, 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 in a new so Jesus took the king of Brother Hagin and laid his finger in the, in the palm of his right hand and said, I, I'll give into this special anointing. So the hand is on the sick. Hallelujah. And whenever, and whenever that you feel this burning in your palm, that anointing manifests. He said, Now, you tell the people, you tell them that I came to you. You tell them that I'm giving into your special anointing. You tell them that I took my finger and laid it in, the, in the, the palm of your right hand. You tell them that I told you to tell the people, and when you do that, 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 that healing will be a manifestation. Hallelujah. So you don't, you don't understand authority. And when he got to where he said that he couldn't continue doing that because he, he just transferred that over to that same anointing. It came from Jesus. It didn't matter if it comes from Amy Durant or if it comes from Dad Hagen. It's the anointing. That's how you go home. Hallelujah. And it might be people who are smart enough to say, you know, Amy Durant's story. No, 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 some people you may not always agree with everything they say doctrinally, but some people you can't you, you can't you can't argue with their faith. So my big hand was just had had a really when you had a hey there's this man is tremendous manifestations of healing in that. Sometimes you say stuff and you kinda go, Huh? You couldn't argue with the healing in that. Now that means I was resting what he was saying, it just means that he was anointed to lay hands on the sick. He had a lot of people in the 50s back in the healing revival. We we'll do stuff, you know, and the Lord wasn't blessing what they were teaching. Hello? He, 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 he was anointed in the ministry to the sick. You get the calling of God without repentance. You know, you know one preacher, I'm not going to call it him, but some people know who he is, but one preacher would be drunk to say, God, just sober me up for this one more, that people knew that I had with that gift. He, he, he went down the platform and used to be sober. Minister, lay hands on the sick, and walk back off the platform and step out of that morning and be drunk again. That's what he got to do with that. Because the people had a need. And he, he, he cried out to God. You know, he, he was dealing with what we people say they're on, on personal demons. He was dealing with stuff. But I'll tell you what, I mean, you know, God, God was used to using it. God used the kids. God used the donkey. God used you. The ministry got cut short and the life got cut short. So they didn't get that thing straight. It cost it cost the longevity, but God is still blessed when you use it and minister to people. So it was the anointing. He said it was the anointing. Hallelujah. Anyway, so that's all here. Uh, after Kevin and Grant, they were they were out in Atlanta at a uh, going to a Benny Hinn meeting. I guess about fifteen years ago. And he's out in the Atlanta, he's out on the uh, the, uh, the Atlanta parking lot. That red car is also known as the Beltway. You see that that Beltway runs right around. Now, the Atlanta parking lot is running a hundred miles an hour. That red car just stops. Well, the parking lot. Okay, you can if you used to be that way here in Atlanta, that red car, morning or evening. You just sit there. All right? And, and then it was time to get to the meeting. He couldn't get there. He stuck out there on the, on the block line. And so there's people sitting there just waiting. They just kind of waiting. And of course, the guy that was preaching sitting there. And all the people said, Before you got, you know, if he's late, going to be like an hour and a half late, couldn't get there. People started popping up the door and going, <laughs> And people started screaming out of the door. They just started getting healed. Hello? And how did they move it on the body? Because it wasn't him in the first place. Now, God uses you to understand that. We thank God for the anointing on their life. But the expectation got wrong. Because you put your expectation, if you put your expectation up, and keep your expectation up, God will move and God will minister. Amen. Hallelujah. And so people were getting healed and he weren't even there. And so people were getting healed and he wasn't even in the building. 
because they, 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 were, they just came to set their anticipation, and God just met their anticipation. And see, that anticipation was, was their faith. They, and, and somewhere in there, they just started releasing it, releasing their faith. Amen. And when they first started out here, I think they said, they said it's like popcorn all over the building. People start popping up. What happened? When one person shouted out out here, somebody had to come out and go, what the hell did they do? And they just started getting that healing. Amen. I said, Amen. Hallelujah. We have to, we have to be like the woman with these two. We've got to let that woman do her brother buddy on the radio. We've got to be like people who, who put their faith out there and set it out there and won't let go. And go after it till you say amen. Hallelujah. Maybe this word is a sign for waiting once again to, to live in expectation. We need, to, we need some people to start, you know, uh, believing that God does what He said in His word. You've got, you got so many people care, you even care about it. You want to call it? Why are we at the of Pentecostal? We will just get up on my church. The day I joined the church, I think Jane and I joined together on the same day. We weren't married. We were married. Uh, that was the meeting of the Pepper Church, Pentecostal Church. I won't say what the denomination is. They all went to join the league. Do you know what they do? They start going down all the tenets of faith. And they go, Do you know what they do? Do you know what they do? Do you know what they do? Yeah, they say no. Do you know what they do? Well, God heals sometimes. God don't always. But you just said you believe in the land healing as a man. You just said you will agree when you join this church and you believe in the land healing. Yes, you know what I mean? There was a man born man who had Paul Thorne and he came out by him one. Okay? I'm a man who married that to get a sick man to get a sick man. I thought, very, very hallelujah. You got your, your, your born born like the man, you get to know, okay? Your own like this one, he did good sin, his mother and father, he was born this way. Amen. And she sat there and had Paul Thorne argued you all day long. That God had made her and made her the way she was. Well, your mouth made you the way you are. So you don't believe nothing. You're a member of a believer. Do you believe in the truth? I believe that my bones are clean. What I do is good. But my heart is good to hear me. Thank God. So there was a time 2,000 years ago, Father. A lot of good things are sick, your sickness, and healing good diseases for the precious glory to God. And all parts of still healing, that's part of the glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's very fair. God is the Son. When we're going to die from the Son, when we're going to die from the Son, we're going to die from the Son. 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 If you read Matthew 8, 16 and 17, you have an angel that's coming to fall into him. He did not the sick and vexed, and he cast out the spirit and healed the sick with his word that it might be fulfilled by that which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, and so took our promises and carried our sicknesses. Go on, there's a spiritual healing about it. Your spirit, when you hear your spirit, gets born again. That's what says that might be, it might be fulfilled by the spoken by the prophet Isaiah, and so took our promises and bare our sicknesses. He healed all of us sick. Hello? Hello. We teach the word. We have an anticipation of God's word works. God's word is true. Sorry, Brother Ben. He, he takes you to get out of the light. He messes with the camera. The camera goes. Mm-hmm. 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 Minister, anybody can turn his weight on me. That's what James says. Is there any sick among you? Let him call to the elders of the church. Hallelujah. Those unsaved with the anointing of all the prayer of faith to save the sick. And if they have any sins, they'll be forgiven. Praise God. Well, thank God for laying on his hands and the anointing of all you can have both. Amen. So now we're going to have to make the specifically. I'm not going to use those. I do when the Lord tells me to. But that's some other question. Otherwise, we will lay hands on the sick. We're going to lay hands on the prayer of Amen. Is that we're going to believe. We're going to believe. We're going to believe. How many believe? How many believe that, 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 that the healing belongs to you? That God wants you well. That Jesus bore your sickness and carried your diseases. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's go ahead and make a miracle down this. Bring the name of the miracle. Amen. Let's go ahead and make a miracle. Hallelujah. She is. They told her she had to have a heart transplant. She did. 
<laughs> they just want to carry more paper back. Jesus came back and gave her a new one. How many back is one of your things? Two? Oh, I don't know that. Family circle. Kids, about 100 years ago. Women's hospital. Mother's hair hospital. Actually, I've seen that at times with your green hair, wasn't it? Yeah. You've seen good on it. Probably. You know the doctor. They both, both, they put on their hand, recorded their little mini, you know, thing on the way down the line. And the doctor signed and said that it was a miracle. They interviewed him. It was a miracle. Probably only a year later, so the, the heart stopped was killed. If I didn't know your case, you didn't have your case history in front of me, and I checked your heart today, I would say you never had a problem with your heart. Your heart was so bad, they told it came out of a heart transplant. It's like first part of cardiomyopathy. Cross muscle went flabby. You don't recover from that. They're trying to get a drug to get enough strength to get to the transplant team. By the time they were getting that point, Jesus was to come back. Now, listen. Right now, we brought Jerry by a scripture class. We and Bill were praying. Bill was praying. She was confessing. Speak in the word. I said, you start speaking the word. You can change your circumstance. You can change your life. 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 You can